is your, your choice. Your choice. And that's where you just have to decide. For nine times out of ten, you're going to do something. And when you, when, when you choose to do something, just make sure you decide responsibly what to do because I'm, I'm not going to make this fairy tale up like you're going to come to college and just study and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. everything's going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. You're going to see people doing all perfect. kind of things. Things like that you'll be you surprised would, just walking in front of the cast, the kind of things you see people you'll, doing. You'll smell all kind of incense and everything while you're here. You just get a new perspective, I think. Mm -hmm. you, you see it more. It's more open here than in high school. Yeah, when you come to college, you just, uh, in high school, you are you seem more closed-minded and you don't have as much opinions. And I guess but, like the freedom. Yeah, and when you, when you come to college, you get more freedom and you have to be a lot more open-minded about everything. You can't look at somebody and just be like, wow, I don't want to hang out with that person at all. That could end up being your best friend in the right. end or whatever. You definitely figure out who you are thanks to that kind of being in your face too. Oh, you yeah. figure out if you're the party person or the good person or the one that people depend on to be the DD. I mean, you find out all of the that. The designated driver. Yep, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you're going if you're going to do it, I know throughout college you're going to do it at least one or more times. If you're going to do it, just be smart about it. Don't, it's going to happen. Don't There's go all no, out. It's yeah. inevitable. You're just, going to college. You're going to have that one experience where you just where you drink or you do whatever it is you're going to do. You're going to have that experience. Just make sure you're around real People. friends or yeah. set yourself up to where you can do things where you don't get in trouble or don't don't come don't back do to your stupid. dorm all messed up. You know, just make sure you're in a safe place where you're not going to move. And if you are going to do it, make sure you get your stuff done first. You can't you can't be out there partying all the time, never getting your stuff done. You're just going to fail out of college. Thursday night and, is the party night. Don't yeah. go to go don't stay out until 3 in the morning if you've got a 8:45, yeah. 8:45, 9 o'clock class on, on Friday morning. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah. yeah, I had that last semester. Yeah. No yeah. freshman should ever take a 7:30 class. Never. Yeah. Don't that, you that, ever that do it. Was, that is the class that I am taking over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same here. I have to take Came it over, too. Came out with too. a C in that one. It, I did. Yeah. You, you I don't, don't have a very very happy with that C. Yeah. Very happy with that C. You, but yeah, I just, said I was going to give the 731 going to be nothing because, you know, we get up from... Yeah. But it's different. Yeah, it's so different. You, you go later and you sit in that bed. You see 730 and you say, I'm not going. And mm -hmm. you have nobody sitting there wait, saying, all right. Wake up. Because once you cut that alarm now. off, once it's you, not it's going off. back off again. Yeah, that alarm will be off. your best friend in college. Yeah. You have to set it. Definitely. Set it twice. <laughs> set it set twice. Two for two different. Two or three. Yeah. Two different times. <laughs> one on the clock and one on the phone. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then two on the phone or two on the Or if you're team iPhone, you can set two different alarms at the same time. Yes. I know I can. Mm -hmm. iPhone 4S. Yes, sir. White <laughs> iPhone. How do you all feel about the relationships with your parents before you came to college? Do you feel that it is important to your, do you feel that the relationships with your parents is important, the kind of relationship that you have with your parents before you come off to college? Is that important? Yes, because you're going to be broke. <laughs> you're going to be broke. And you want to call them often so when you call for money, money, it don't just look like you're calling for money. Call them at least once a day. At least that's what I do once now. Every three days. That's what I do now. <laughs> <laughs> I, just I, I call them. Do call them. Don't. Keep don't. <clears throat> keep it open to where you're talking to them. So when you call, they don't know. They'll pick up for when you actually do need that money, and they know. Oh, I know what they're calling for. Visit them too. You know, make sure you keep that relationship. You know, physical, not just over the phone. You want to go see your parents. Like I, I personally still live at home, but. I'm never really there. I'm always out with friends or I'm at work or I'm doing projects, you know, something. So, but I keep at least one night a week just for mom and dad, you know, so that they still feel like they still have their daughter, you know. Mm -hmm. And then that helps me when I need someone to lean on. I have their support or, um, like, even if a friend, like, Rachel could come to my house. If she needed someone, my parents would be there for her, like, if she couldn't get in touch with her parents. Mm -hmm. It's important to have that relationship, even if it's like, you know, your parents away from your parents. You need some parental figure still in your life. Or like me and my mom, we were we were real close, but it seems like as I got into college, we've got grown closer. We talk to each other every day. You've grown closer. I've grown closer to my mom. Mm. I call each, I know I call her like three three times a day. Mm. I call her in the morning. Mm -hmm. I call her through the day, see how she's doing. No. Yeah. 
That's, <laughs> that's me personally. <laughs> you all don't speak to your mothers? Yes, what, what? I, call, I call my mama in the morning so she don't bug me through the rest of the day. I right. call my mom and I know she's listening. Love you. I, I text my parents all the time still, even though I still live with them. Yeah, see, I, I usually only call my mom for money. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be honest listening. here. Uh, I shouldn't I shouldn't do that. I should call her more and just see how she's doing now that she is home alone and just to see how she's doing and see how she's, like, adjusting to the fact that I'm not living there anymore. I'm, I'm off at school, and she's off starting her new life without me, you know what I mean? Mm. So. Do you all feel that before you come off to college, let's, for instance, say if you had a good relationship with your parents, if you had that good bond between your parents, do you feel that now that you are in college, as college freshmen, have you still retained that good bond with your parents, or have you all kind of drifted as far as that relationship with your parents, considering the distance? I feel closer now, mm -hmm. because at the end... I, I just couldn't take them no more. Mm. It was like, because they were realizing I was finna leave. That's what I think it was. Because I had more freedom at the beginning. And then when I was about to leave, it was like, you know, it was like, why, why are you out so late now? You know, you're not going to be here too much longer. But I, I had senioritis kick in my senior junior year. Senioritis kicked in junior oh, yeah. year. I don't care junior what nobody say. Year, I you was see ready the finish line in, at junior year, you like, I'm not a little kid. I'm about to be gone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, junior and it's that year. last month before you finally moved down here. I'm, yeah. And I know it was more for me in, like, June because I'm mm -hmm. a camp counselor during the summer, so I was never at home all summer. And so that really helped me and my parents and get used to me not being there because I was always at camp and I was never home. JSU start later than anybody, so you they watch do. all you your are. friends go off. And it's just like, and why am I still the, the here? The last couple, the last bit, you'd be like, okay, I'm so the only I'm one here. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have nothing to do. Yeah. When you all first moved in... The very, very first night. What was that like? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> College it was, so long, it was so long ago. <laughs> I feel like it was so long ago. It was so long ago. I don't think I went to sleep that first night. I think mm. I stayed up all night. Mm -hmm. Just I don't know. Oh, I, I just. Oh. I just. I was so happy to be away uh, from my house. <laughs> we were doing sorority yeah. stuff on it, so it was like midnight before I got back to my dorm anyway. When I tell you, I was so happy to be in. <laughs> I was so happy I was at my house. Oh, I heard I that. I like a baby. Heard that. <laughs> what about you, Nick? What did you do your very first night? Well, you moved I went, in. I know they had like a little party. I went there for a little while, and then after that, I came back to my room, but I really don't remember it for real. You don't remember. <laughs> if I may. I can remember exactly what I did my very first night I moved in as a freshman. What'd you do, Ed? I cried. <laughs> Why? I did, and I have no problem in saying that because I'm very secure in myself uh, to be able to admit that I did cry. I cried like a baby. I will never forget they dropped me off, and I stood outside in front of the door, and I waved goodbye to them as they drove down the street. And I did not stop watching until they turned around the corner. And I slowly walked back up to my room, closed the door behind me, and I bawled like a baby. It is like a movie. <laughs> I remember as soon as they walked out that door of my dorm, I locked that door, and I just sat there on my bed, and I smiled so hard. I was so happy. I was like, get out of here. That's the only person I ever heard say that. Yeah, it was... That first night was very hard. And you said, Wade, you said you did not sleep your first night. I did not sleep for the first two nights. For the first 48 hours of me being a college freshman, I did not sleep. By the second day, everything that I had moved in with was still on the bed. I had, I had not even moved my stuff off the bed. A part of me, and, and it's funny because I had this feeling of happiness this feeling of, yes, I'm out of there. But then a part of me was like, how dare my parents drop me here and leave me? <laughs> I, oh, I was fighting all those emotions and seeing them drive down the highway. That was probably one of the hardest things in my entire life. Uh, and I haven't had many of those moments in my life. Me either. And so it's like you're wrestling between these emotions of, uh, I'm homesick, but then 
I'm happy to be here. Do y'all feel that y'all have been fighting those emotions? Of Not at all. I'm, I'm very, I'm very excited. It's hard to get homesick when you still live there. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, well, the exception of Danny, who still lives at home, but the rest of you all, who's your parents are miles away from here, do you all still get that mixed feeling of homesickness slash happiness to? No, to I don't. Never did. Probably never will. I don't think I've ever gotten that. I'm, I envy I you guys on that part. Really? I do. Not at all. I, I hate going home now. Me too. Like. When All I it is home, is be home at 10. Be home. Yeah, I'm like, mama, see exactly. No. Well, see, with me, like, when I go home, I have nothing to do. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, but, like, there's nobody there. There's, All your friends like, are gone. And it's like yeah. the people that you keep up with might not come home when you come home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And it's always the opposite weekend you go home. Like, Never fails. It's like, yeah. like our spring break. Just like, yeah. oh, like we got Dude, the spring, spring break, break after spring everybody. Break. I know. Yeah, like spring break. Everybody's, everybody's like, where like, are you going for spring break? You'll be back in school. It don't matter. Yeah. They're like, why is it so late? I said, that's just JSU for you. They said, do y'all have any break before then? I said, nope. But I do like the fact that we'll be out in April. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> and y'all will still be in school. <laughs> we get three months of summer. Woo. That's extra beach time for us. <laughs> Woo. No, four months. Is it four months? Because we don't start to almost September. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, the, the Jacksonville State University <laughs> the Jacksonville State University academic calendar is very different than that of probably any university in this country. The Jacksonville State University academic calendar, the first day of school does not start until, the first day of class doesn't start until August. And we get out probably the third week in April when most universities are just getting out the last week in May. So... We're this university is, is blessed that we've been uh, we've been we've had the opportunity of receiving such such a good schedule for us. Not in the fall. I think well, that was terrible. That fall break. We don't have a fall break. That's, no. what I said. that's I why we start so late. Right. Oh, that's probably why. Because well, it would make sense if we don't start school until darn near September. We don't need a fall break. Everybody's already left, and you're just at home with nothing to do. And they're all in school. You don't even yeah, all your high school friends. About you can come stay with me now. No, like no, not that. Like back before school started, like all your friends in, that were still in high school, they were at high, they were in high school. Like they were at school. There was nothing to do. Everybody's at work. You just sit at home by yourself. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all so much for taking time out of your night to come to WLJS Studios and help our listening audience out there on how to be successful college freshmen to Mr. Wade Cotton, Mr. Charlie Lockhart, Mr. Nick Brown, Miss Danny Livingston, <laughs> and Miss Rachel Jackson. Thank you all Thank so you. very much. We enjoyed Thanks, it. Yeah, we enjoyed it. it. And no, I... Follow me on Twitter at I underscore Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Bubba said follow him, on, follow him on Twitter, everybody. <laughs> Thank you all. Y'all have a good night, okay? Bye. Bye. And we will be right back with more of Late Night with Ed Moore the Third, College Freshman in America. It is one minute, one minute past the hour. We will be right back.
make a change We are all a part of God's great big family And the truth, you know love is all we need We are, we are. 